Body bags were whole lies. Hey, I'm Sam. I'm your Thursday guy for body bags, and this week I'm doing a smile. You gotta say cheese. <laughs> This movie has like a two or three point something on IMDb out of 10, right? Two or three point whatever out of 10 on IMDb. And I watch this movie and I'm thinking, whoa, this is actually really good. Like, oh my God, like, whoa, dude, it's nuts that people were like, oh, movie sucks, man, sucks, <laughs> dialogue sucked, everything sucks, <laughs> dude, dude, it's like you didn't even watch it, like, dude, so, <laughs> the idea of the movie is that there's these seven kids, not really kids, they're college students, and they're going on a vacation to Morocco. I'm not sure why they picked there, but that's where they chose. And our main character is this photographer, a wannabe photographer anyway, and she loses her camera. So what she does, she you know goes to some antique shop, tries to find a camera, and meets this old crazy guy, not really crazy, but you find some stuff out later who has his camera and is like oh here you go you know like 25 euros or 50 euros or whatever I'll, I'll give you the camera and then you know she buys the camera from him and then throughout the movie weird stuff starts happening and let's just say it's one of those movies where if you get caught in the photo you will die but there is a twist that I don't think I have seen before in a movie, so I thought that was interesting. You, but you'll have to watch it if you want to know the juicy stuff. Anyways, <laughs> you could go watch it on Tubi. Um, there's probably a couple other free places you could watch it at. I really like this movie. Like, some stuff is cliche, but the one thing I thought was super weird. And to be honest with you, I could be completely wrong. I'm pretty sure this movie came out in either 2007 or 2017. Either way, I just found it completely weird that you're watching this movie and it feels like you're watching a 90s movie. It just was so weird. It was like, it looked, it felt, everything felt like I was watching a 90s movie. But it's either, it was made in 07 or 17. I'll have to do, I'll have to go back and find out. You will know when I'm done editing everything. Anyways, smaller cast, um, there's like one actor that might be in stuff, but it, honestly I didn't really see because uh, I was busy. But um, if he is in something, I'll have it down in the uh, description, of course, like I always do. Sorry, just, you know, mid-video, gotta change my hair, of course. <laughs> Anyways, oh my god, I gotta figure something out with my hair. Anyways, dude, I thought it was a good movie. Like, better than, like, I really thought it was gonna be. I mean, like, you look at the rating, and it's like, oh, it's a two or a three, that means it's probably not that good of a movie. So, uh, if a movie on IMDb is, like, a five or a six or better, it's probably a movie that's, like, obviously 50-50, but it's, like, you, you either love it or you could hate it or, you know, whatever. But it's really rare to go find a movie that's, that's like, a two-point whatever out of ten, and it ends up being a really good movie. I mean, everything about this movie is really good. The only thing about this movie that could be bad, or could be, you know, is one of the characters is really goofy. Almost kind of like, like the act even looked like. All right, so, all right, give me a second. There's a character in this movie that looks like Joey from Friends. And if you plug the actor that plays Joey into this movie as that character, it works. It looks like him. It's not, not sound, well, maybe, I don't know. Sounds like him, maybe. Just everything about it, that character was like, oh, that's, that screams Joey from Friends. It's really weird. But uh, anyways, <clears throat> he, he his dialogue sometimes is cheesy or goofy. And I think, I don't, I, I think the reason they did that was because they just wanted that kind of character in it. And it, that makes sense because every other character is not cheesy or goofy like him. So anyways. I thought it was a really good movie with a really nice plot twist in the end. That's not really a plot twist, but it, it's like, 
There's like a mystery in this movie throughout the entire movie until the last five minutes of the movie. The last five minutes explains everything. And I don't, maybe I guess you could say that sucks, but nonetheless, right? If I had to rate this movie right now, if I had to rate this movie right now, I would rate this movie a 7.7. .7. You know what they say about Seven. Totally. I think this was a really good movie. People don't like this movie. I watched this movie and I was like, what are you talking about? I watched this movie. Are we watching the same movie? You're probably watching Sunlight. You're probably watching Polaroid or something. I don't know. Watch this movie. Watch the Tubi version. That was good. Anyways, 7.7 7 out of 10 for me. I don't know. You might think it's a trash movie. You might think it is complete full of BS. But here's the thing. You're going to have to find out for yourselves unless you already watched the movie. So how about this? How about this? I'll make a deal with you. You can't say anything critical about this movie until you actually watch it. And then you could come back and be like, oh, yeah. So I watched the movie. So I watched the movie and I thought it was full of crap. And, uh, yeah. Anyways. Here's the thing, okay? All right. Hear me out. You see, I'm Sam. I'm your Thursday card for Body Bags. This movie was really good. It's called Smile, for crying out loud. It's not the new one. I should have said that in the very beginning. It's not the new one that just came out, which I haven't seen yet. I have to watch that soon. Anyways. I just thought it was really good. And you should definitely watch it if you have not yet. Like, this is the kind of movie that, like, I was just surprised that it was just... I thought it was gonna be another one of those two movies and actually being actually was pretty good. So you go watch it if you wanna watch it. You don't wanna watch it, whatever. Just don't you know, don't go in the com comments and be like, so I watched the movie. I, you know, I watched the trailer of the movie and it was it was just bad. <laughs> anyways. Anyways. You see, I'm Sam. I'm your Thursday guy for Body Bags, and I will see you next week with a movie that, franchise-wise, I've never seen any of them, so that's going to be very interesting for me to watch. You see, I'm pretty sure I either have the third or the fourth installment of the movie, and so I'm thinking maybe I should just watch the first couple or three movies to give me a good understanding of what this, the movie I'm doing is all about. Anyways, I'm Sam. I'm your Thursday guy for Body Bags. And I will see you next week. Goodbye.